Hey yo everybody and welcome to this new episode of our Skiller Adventure. So the goal of this episode and my account is to fulfill the requirements which we have posted for the previous Winterthur episode. So the first thing we want to tackle is 85 mining, followed by 76 fishing, then 55 crafting, 62 farming, 59 herb raw, and of course 90 woodcutting which we have already completed in the previous episode. And the reasoning for that is that the herb, the ores, the fish, the uncut gems, the seed drops and the logs are all based on the player's herb raw, mining, fishing, crafting, farming and woodcutting levels at the time of opening the crates, which is the reasoning uh, why we have been waiting to open these winters of crates. Yo, what up everybody? I have just finished my 99 fire making grind and now I'm gonna go do some mining. So hopefully you will follow my journey, hopefully you will like it. I'm gonna mix this up, I'm gonna start with some questing and hopefully get Dark's quest done, Plague City done. And then we are gonna go straight to Motherload Mine and we are probably just gonna go AFK there for as long as possible. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys will follow my journey uh, with this account and we have a long way ahead of us. I haven't been playing this game much and we finally just got my first 99. So yeah, there's so much to do in this game and I haven't experienced much of it. So now we're just going to do the basic. We're going to do some quest level up our skills and then we're going to see how far this game is going to take us. So yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy. So as just mentioned previously, the first skill we wanted to go through was mining. So we started with the completion of Doric's quest followed by Plague City, and lastly the dig site, which rewarded us with 30 mining and straight access to the Motherload Mine. The Motherload Mine was where we spent most of our time getting the full prospectors, so the price is 40 gold nuggets, 60, that's 100, 150, and 190. And we also need the skull bag at some time, uh, for when we have to do our smithing grind, but that's not as important right now. This one would also be quite nice, so it costs quite a lot we have to get like 400 and we also need to unlock the upper floor and we need to unlock like a bigger deposit but let's just get the full outfit and the prospector helmet in our collection lock now also the jacket and let's get the legs and the prospector boots and we're all getting all these ones but yeah let's try to wear it and uh, let me see Let's go in here, equipment stats, and let's see how it looks. Alright, here we go. Full prospector outfit. So let's just put this back in the bank and let's start uh, getting to unlocking a bigger back right here. Because we need level 70 mining for going on the upper floor. And, I've and we also unlocked the upper level at level 72 mining. And then we also got the bigger ore sack. So we ended the mining grind in the mining guild where we were mining iron for 66k xp per hour which was slightly faster than the mother load mine. And here we go, 85 mining and we are now finally done with this grind. Now we only have to do some other things and then we should be able to open up the Winterthur crates hopefully. Alright now we are Getting on the fishing trawler grind, I just hit 15 fishing and uh, I just bought some uh, swamp paste and we got the bailing bucket and I have never done fishing trawler before so I'm just gonna go, go on the right world and I will see how it goes and I will try to get the four pieces and then we can head straight to tempo rose. So hopefully this will give me 30 fishing otherwise we'll just have to do some fly fishing but that should be fine so yeah I'm gonna jump world and Let's see how it goes. All right, so this should be our first reward from the fishing trawler trip. And what we get? We get some herring and some sardines. Useless, so let's get back at it again. We got six fishing XP, I guess. So yeah, I'm just here for the outfit and then we're gonna be finished with it. So let's go down again and see how this one goes. All right, I got my first drop finally and this is the 30 
one drop, so I'm just gonna withdraw this one and I'm gonna bank the rest. And now let's get three more pieces. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Finally, we got the ankle boots. And we only need two items, and this was our run number 59. So, this has been taking some time, and also 26 fishing coming up. So, hopefully, I'll be done soon because I'm pretty tired of this minigame already. But at least it only takes five minutes now, so not too bad, but it's still very boring. Alright, let's see if we can get it back to back. And hopefully, we get another piece. Come on, let's go check. What are we getting? Back to back? Ah, sheesh. A lot of oysters, a rusty sword, and a broken staff. Unlock. Yo, we are finally done with the grind now. I've just got the angler. Um, legs? Ladders, I don't know what they're called. And we just gotta bank the rest. And now we only need a little bit. I'm just gonna take one more run and we are gonna get 30 fishing. And then we should be heading straight to Temple Rose. And uh, after this, I'll show what I got in the bank. It's just five minutes and we take no time. So I'm just gonna finish this and then we're gonna head on to the next part. All right, so next up was of course getting to 76 fishing. And we started by doing a lot of fishing trawler to unlock the full anchors outfit. And this also rewarded us with 30 fishing. And then we finished up to 35 with some fly fishing and then we hit it straight to temporos to finish up the remaining levels and this should be 76 fishing yeah and we are now done with the fishing grind hey if you like this video remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell and hope you enjoyed the video so far so the next skill we had to do was getting 50 crafting and this was done very quickly by cutting some gems, making some gold, some sapphire and some ruby bracelets. And this grind was done really quickly because this is also very high XP per hour and this also yielded, yielded us a very good profit. Which we could later use for some farm runs and also herb lore later. And 50 crafting coming up! Here we go! 50 crafting, so 8 more levels to go and we can start doing some other stuff than ruby bracelets. So yeah, going pretty quickly. And as you can see here, lots of crafting levels right now and I've also been, done, been doing a little bit of mining. So yeah, it's going good. Alright, so the next goal of course was to get 62 farming. And this skill was done passively by doing all the other grinds and that meant we were doing some tree runs, some herb runs meanwhile. And of course we also did the completion of Garden of the Death, which rewarded us with 30 farming. So we were already close to 62 and this was done in a week I think we got 62 farming. So pretty quick skill and very nice to do passively over time. So not big, so no big worries here. Right, so I just bought a lot of potions in the bank right now and we're just gonna make a bunch of psych potions and hopefully be level 59 soon. So yeah, I, I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, but I bought like 10k. So yeah, we're just gonna do this. It's cost me 1.4 million and it's probably gonna take some time, but yeah, it's very cheap and we could probably have made something else, but this is just what I chose and I'm just gonna FK this. So it's gonna be fine. Here we go, 38 Herbler, and we are now gonna make some prayer potions instead. I just, I did buy 10k of these, but it's gonna take way too long. So I'm just gonna finish up the rest, and then we are gonna make some prayer potions, because it's way quicker. And to be honest, I don't want to stand here for 5 hours making attack potions. So yeah, we swapped it up a bit, and now we're gonna make prayer potions. Alright, here we go with the final stretch to 59 Herbler. Didn't take very long, I think I spent one and a half hour or maybe two hours I'll spend some time doing some herb runs. I'll also spend some time doing some birdhouses runs. Uh, so yeah, we're done herb and we're done and now we are finally done. So thanks everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. The next video we're gonna do is we're gonna do open all the window top crates. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell. And you can also just like do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. See you.